Hey everybody, this is Paul in Sweet Home, Alabama. Just doing a, a quick update about the weather. But, um, yeah, we had a tornado that hit our school. It's about a mile, mile and a half from my house. So, let's see if the video will play. Well, and we're at Brindley Primary School, otherwise known as the Union Grove School. We've been all over the valley tracking this storm, making sure we follow it closely. There's been a lot of flooding going on, a little bit of fallen trees, fallen poles, damage. I'm going to step to the side and show you what we have going on here. Here at Brindley, as you can see towards the back of the school, the roof is almost completely gone. We have devastation here. We have some poles that have completely fallen down, electric poles. So we have crews out here that are working around the clock to try to make sure that everyone stays safe. You have just debris, trees, branches falling all over the place. And if we go over here to the side, you can see the front yard of the school is completely covered with fallen trees. We have a tree that's been ripped out of the ground metal, all sorts of things all over the place. This storm has really come in and devastated this school. Um, the community is out there trying to check on people, make sure that everyone's okay. We have crews responding, uh, fire and rescue. Of course, the police are here, sheriff's department. This is something that Honestly, it's, it's, it's really affected this community. We actually just talked to some neighbors out here. Uh, they came over and just chatted with us for a little bit. They just wanted to check to make sure everything okay. We spoke with one man, his, his uh, wife, excuse me, his wife works here. And he said that this is going to be really hard to recover from, Jordan, but the community is going to come together and get that done. Uh, we're going to make sure we stay out here, talk to first responders, talk to crews. They're actually working on these power lines here because we didn't indicate that one of the poles had fallen down completely. I'm sure there's probably more than one and a ton of damage that we actually can't see here to the back of this school. So we're following the storm closely. Like I said, we're going to be keeping up with all of the, the repairs that are going to have to go on here. And um, as far as we know, we're just trying to keep up to make sure that everyone stays safe here, Jordan. And now, Cindy, I know you, you've literally been Penin everywhere Valley first. across the Tennessee Valley this afternoon. You've, you've been to Decatur. You've been to Florence. Uh, is what you're seeing in Gunnersville some of the worst of what you've seen today? Or how does this compare against uh, everything else you've seen this afternoon? Jordan, when I tell you, I did not expect to see the amount of damage that we're seeing. I'll step to the side again. If you just take a look, so you can only imagine what's actually at the back of the school. This is what you see from the front. The roof is almost completely gone, Jordan, and all of this, all of these poles are falling down to the side um, with remnants from the roof just littering the front yard. We haven't seen anything like this today. Um, of course, we're keeping up and um, we ask that the viewers send in pictures if you have something, some sort of uh, damage or devastation going on so we can keep up with what's going on. But I was definitely shocked to see all the damage that that's happened to the school today. Well, thank you so much, Sydney. And uh, I'm going to reiterate what Sydney said just one more time. Um, we need to see your pictures. We need to see your videos. We want to see uh, your, your damage reports of what you've seen this afternoon. And of course, if we need to, if we have any more uh, coverage like this, any more extensive damage, I think we would break into programming uh, again just to tell you about that. But again, thank you so much, Sydney, and thank you to everyone with you this afternoon. I know you've got a, a little team with you, so thank you to everybody who's been traversing the Tennessee Valley this afternoon to cover this round of severe weather. Uh, but for now, we'll send you back to regular programming. So anyway, here's some photos. And that's the front of the school there. It's kind of more on the side. crazy but anyway we were uh, we were spared this time thank God so anyway just wanted to share that with you and let you know uh, we're fine and we sustained no damage here but like I said it, I, I was doing I was filming uh, as that tornado was going over the school um, I got some footage, but it's, you know, it's through the glass, so it's it's hard to see, but you could pretty well see that it was a funnel going over, but, um, 
like I said, the footage is not good, so, um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and, uh, let you know that we're safe, and everything is fine here, um, I'll try to get out tomorrow, and go seek out the damage, and, uh, maybe try to get some video tomorrow, and, um, so, anyway, um, I hope everybody else is safe, uh, uh, I know there's like 11 dead so far from all these storms that we've had today. And, um, anyway, you know, say some prayers for all those that are still in the paths of these storms. And, um, God bless everybody. Love everybody. And, um, wow, what a day. All right, guys. I hear the pitter patter little feet. That's my doggy. All right. I will talk to you guys soon.